Hey guys, love, light, and blessings. Um, oh my god, so I accidentally stopped recording the video when I was showing my favorite book on that I got yesterday from Barnes and Noble. And so I just deleted the video and I'm so mad because I thought I was about to sign off. But I'm going to be recorded then. Um, good morning, everybody. And I'm gonna show you four quick books. Well, I'm going to try to show it as quickly as possible. Then I got in Barnes and Nobles. And um, the first one I'm going to show you, since it's the one that's sticking out right now, um, is one by Ted Andrews. And it's called Animal Speak. Now, I thought this was a different book when I got it. I didn't really look for it. Um, I thought it was like... Um, just an animal reference book, but there's like rituals and things in here um, that the author created um, that you can co incorporate in your practice. And um, I'm going to read the back. So learn the language of the animals. Open your heart and mind to the wisdom of the animal world. Coyotes urge us to adapt, to change circumstances, lions and body strength and courage. Otters remind us to remember to take time to play. Animals have many lessons for humans, but before we can learn from them, we must be able to speak with them. Animal Speak provides techniques for recognizing and interpreting the signs and omens of the natural world. Meet and work with animals as totems and spirits by learning the language of their behavior within the physical world. Learn how to identify meat, attune to your animal spirits, discover the power of spiritual significance. More than a hundred different animals, birds, insects, and reptiles call upon the Protective powers of your animal totem. Master four techniques for understanding the language of birds. Learn the fascinating lore and exotic language of reptiles and insects. Create and use five magical animal rights, including shape shifting and sacred dance. I don't know about the sacred dance part, but um, there is some interesting information about the animals in here. Um, he also makes suggestions for different rituals and things like that. So I will be reading this book and I'll let you guys know how I feel about it um, and things like that. Um, second book that I have got yesterday. I have a lot of magical books on herbs, but I don't have any, any really about the medicinal properties of them. And I saw these two books and they were 50% off. And it's called The 500 Treatments for Ailments. And um, you can see the authors there, Dr. Christine, Dr. Zuling Ren, Bethany Fain, Dr. Giovanni Espinosa, and Stephanie Kelly. And it says, Integrated Complementary and Conventional Medicine for the Most Common Illnesses. 500 Treatments for 100 Ailments is an invaluable integrated medis, medis, medical can't even read, resource that provides real choices in an easy-to-use at-a-glance format. Now, I'm just kidding. I have to use glasses, and I can't because of the glare when I'm recording. So, This unique all-in-one guide puts everything you need to know about traditional and alternative medicine right at your fingertips so and the authors are practitioners in conventional medicine homopathy traditional chinese medicine herbalism and naturopathy writing in everyday and everything from acne pain sexual dysfunction and the common cold to mind body and spirit anxiety and general first aid free of medical jargon to help you quickly easily diagnose your symptoms and identify treatment and information in this book will allow you to take control of your health care, better understand the choices open to you. Alternative health practices have a tradition of providing relief to people for hundreds and in some cases thousands of years, but doctors often suggest just one course of treatment and you may not realize just how many options are available. So for each hundred ailments in this book, you will, will let you compare traditional medicine side by side with four alternative treatments to help you decide which type of therapy that suits you and your family. So I love that. I would definitely let you guys know how I do with this book. And this was 50% off, so I got it for $12.98 at Barnes & Noble. So I am happy with that. Um, third book that I got 
which is my favorite. It has beautiful illustration. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It was only $9.98. Got that in Barnes and Nobles. It has beautiful illustration and everyday things that you can use to treat the everyday ailments. Um, different types of baths you can use, um, different kinds of herbs you can use for sleep in inducing home remedies. You have itching and rashes, mouth, gums, and teeth, for example. And it talks about like how you can use clothes for teeth and myrrh gum and golden seal and willow and yerba mansa and just a bunch of things also has um different remedies from various cultures around the world um things for nausea and vomiting um there's pregnancy stuff in here i mean there's just so much stuff and the suggestions you can you know you can actually get like different ways coffee can heal the person um just a lot of stuff, sore throat, just everything, like remedies for coughs, okay, it has like the little side, um, and it'll tell you how to make the remedy, I mean, it just, it's really, really good, I skimmed the remedies books page to page, um, the first book doesn't really have illustration, but it has really good tips as well, some of them are a little bit harder to get um, ingredients. This one is like a lot of it was easy to get. Some of them I have, some of them I don't. So I'm going to let you know how these three books are. A little iffy on Animal Speaks. I do like the animal information it has. I don't know about the ritual stuff and the sacred dance. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I did do um, ritual dance. Uh, growing up with my great great grandmother um, in the tribe that we're from, and um, I don't know, so that's kind of a thing for me. Like, it reminds me a lot of my great great grandmother um, dancing with her and the music and things like that. But um, despite that, like, I will let you guys know. So, um, how like I like the information with that and. I'm going to try to read it as unbiased as possible. So I will let you know. I'll give a, maybe a later on review of the books. And the fourth book that I got that I love is this one. This one I went back in the store a second time because I had went to dinner and got the first three books plus some books for the kids. But I didn't notice this book coming into Barnes & Nobles. I noticed it on my way out. Went to dinner, had dinner, and came back and said, no, I need to get it. And it was also 50% off. So I got it for $14.98. And um, I'm mad happy about it because this book is so good. It's Illustrated Signs and Symbols source book, an A to Z com compendium of over a thousand designs by Adele Nozendar. And I'm really excited. Um, this book is by, I forgot to say the author of the third book. Is there an author on this one? All books have an author. Writers Paul Bergener, Alexander Griswold, PhD, David J. Hufford, PhD, A.R. Madenor, PhD, Bonnie O'Connor's PhD, Barbara Wright, PhD, and Joan I. Salvarino, PhD. Yeah, this one didn't have the authors in the front. That's kind of weird, but that's natural remedies. And it has a collaboration of authors. And then this one is by Adele Nozendar. And it's fully illustrated. And it has, like, everything. There's even some voodoo references in here. Hinduism, symbology, animals, numerology, tarot. It breaks down the major arcana. I mean, it has so much stuff. Different types of tree symbols and this is the book that paused my video so I have to be careful but yeah it has so much stuff I'm like oh love this book it has your a 
beautiful and oh my god look at uh, like so many different symbols from like all over the place like i love it i love this book it just has a lot of stuff like i don't even know like i was so 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 happy with this book my daughter's like i want to look at everything i'm like yeah girl i do not blame you um i do not blame you i do not blame you even has your body just different symbolisms of our body parts I mean, it just has, like, so much stuff. So much stuff. And they break it down to different sections and some, just everything, like I said. And I love books like this because um, I have a lot of dreams. And a lot of dreams I have, they even have sacred geometry in here. Like, I have seen writings in my dreams that I don't know what they are and things like that so and I like to journal my my dreams so I think that will be a good addition to my library so those are the four books that I bought yesterday and I wanted to share them with you guys um, maybe give you some ideas some little additions to your library and just to share I will gladly let you know how um, these books work out um, and things like that. Um, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe. And um, I look forward to the next video and look forward to you guys' feedbacks and things like that. And for those that celebrate today, happy Labor Day. I'm going to be doing some readings this morning. Then we're going to go to a cookout, me and the kids. Um, we're going to have a cookout. Um, my ex-husband's hosting it. So we're going to have a cookout with him, spend the day with family, and then come back home. And I have to get ready. The kids are ready for school on Tuesday because they didn't have school today because they're Labor Day. And then after I do that, I'm going to be, once they go to bed, I have some a couple of night readings. So I'm going to get ready to do some readings this morning and then close it out in the afternoon get ready for the cookout and then come back tonight and then when the kids are in bed some late night readings and then starting out my day tomorrow so i wanted to make this quick video between that so much love light and blessings thank you so much for watching this video and until the next video guys i love you bye